Hello, welcome back to St Michael's Hill. Um, today is a little bit different, it's not something I've done on this channel before, it's a, a complete mystery unboxing of a, um, an item that I've bought off eBay. So it's not often these days that you find kind of real bargains on eBay. Um, I often find myself, you know, finding things that are around kind of a reasonable price, but they're not crazy cheap. Um, I just use it a lot of the time because of uh, I collect nectar points and can use those on eBay. So it makes a lot of sense for me to use eBay for shopping, even if it's not quite as cheap as maybe it was a few years ago. However, um, this item is a little bit different. I saw, I've been looking for this uh, for a while. Um, I've been keeping an eye on other things and the prices generally are around um, 80 to 100 quid. Sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less than that. But generally the cheapest I see them is around 80. Um, usually it's around 90 pounds. So I saw this item um, just started um, on a listing. I think it was at 30 pounds as the, uh, the opening uh, price um, that was set by the buyer. Uh, but it had a an offer now, so I kind of put in a cheeky offer of £65, just assuming it would be rejected. It had only just been listed, there were six or seven days left on the listing. Um, and it was accepted straight away, which was uh, a surprise, for sure. Um, I'm really pleased, but then equally it kind of makes me wonder whether... You know, maybe I didn't really uh, look at the listing well enough or whatever. So it's almost like I got it slightly too cheap um, and I wonder if that's going to cause me problems. So I thought I would unbox um, this for you, although saying that it's, uh, it's quite a soft packaging. So hopefully it's in a semi well packed state, um, but I will uh, go through this now. I'll open it up and I'll show you what I've got. So here we go, it's the um, Freightliner uh, Class 57 from Backman. Um, this is not the most recent tooling, I don't believe. Um, it's the slightly older one. Um, so, you know, I, I know that that one currently goes for 200 quid. I haven't got that much of a bargain, but uh, generally this is still um, going for a fair bit. So let's uh, open her up and have a look. Um, I said she wasn't uh, she wasn't kind of in a box or anything just shipped in a jiffy bag surrounded by some um, bubble foam but to be fair seems to have uh, got here in, in decent nick there's a little bit of damage to the box but that's more of a sticker that's not impact or anything like that so let's uh, open up the box and uh, see what she's looking like so then um, I've got her out of the box um, Generally, it looks fairly good, so I'll kind of run you through what she's looking like. Um, as you can see, all the uh, detailing on the front of this is, is, is really good, as you'd expect of a Batman model. Um, individually fitted windscreen wipers, um, the uh, kind of coupling link on the front here. There's no detailing added yet, but um, there was in the box uh, a detailing pack so that could be added. Um, the only thing I can't see or can see that is missing is the uh, little exhaust, uh, not the exhaust, the aerial on the front here, but generally other than that it's fairly good. There is uh, a driver that has been fitted, I don't know if that's been factory fitted or has been done um, by the previous owner, but uh, generally that looks good. Um, it's a little bit kind of dirty, I don't know if you can see just down here uh, behind the buffer there's uh, a bit of fluff or whatever, but that can easily be cleaned up. Um, but yeah, generally, the detailing is good. There's no obvious damage. The sprung buffers uh, all still work. Um, and on the side, there's no kind of uh, issues of paint. It needs a little bit of a, a clean up. It's a little bit dusty, but that's not uh, too much of a problem. And generally, it's in uh, fairly good condition. The uh, it, It's named, and there's also uh, within the box um, etched name plates so I'll fit those at some point um, I'll probably show you how I do that as well there's a couple of ways that uh, I go around fitting etched plates like that um, so I'll uh, I'll run you through those um, 
but yeah, generally everything's really good. At the other end, again, all the uh, individually fitted parts are, are in place. Um, the uh, except again the aerial. I'm not sure if the aerial might actually come in the detailing pack. I'll have a look at that in just a second. If not, it's just a case of uh, a little bit of plastic can can be used to kind of recreate that. There's obviously no driver at this end, um, and they fitted the tension lock coupling instead of the uh, the uh, buffer beam uh, detailing. So that's that's all good. Again. Buffers are all sprung and working properly. Um, and generally the paint application is pretty good. There's a little kind of blemish along here, but that's really nothing to worry about. And once that's been weathered, it won't be seen at all. Um, on the other side, again, like the paint is uh, in really kind of good nick. I don't know why with all the... Uh, um, Backman 47s and 57s. Why this cab window is always open? It obviously, it's is a nice little bit of detailing and uh, would look good on the odd loco. But when all your 47s and 57s are running around with a cab window open, it just seems a little bit odd. Um, so that's just, well, I guess that is what it is. Um, but yeah, the, the the detailing around here is all good. The paintwork's all in great nick. So um, very very happy kind of with this and. For for sixty five quid modern day pricing is a uh, it's it's basically a steal so massively happy um, to have picked this up for for that price um I will get it up on the uh, on the layout now and uh, give it a quick test I should say that I believe that it's DCC ready um, so I will need to um, find a chip to go inside of it um, but again I will. We'll pop off the body shell at some point and have a closer look. Um, I'll show you that in a second as well, I guess. Um, although in real life it will be probably later on today or tomorrow. But I'll uh, I'll whip that off and uh, and have a look on inside and uh, get it chipped and get it up on the layout. Um, it's not something that I'm probably going to use on the current St Michael's Hill too much. Just obviously as a um, an EWS marshalling yard, it's something that uh, is unlikely that the Freightliner <laughs> would probably be visiting. However, on the new layout where I hope to have um, some kind of main lines, um, there'll certainly be um, scope for other uh, operators. So there'll be, you know, Freightliner um, pulling probably uh, intermodal traffic or other things as well. So yeah, it's something that will certainly get a lot of use, but perhaps not on St Michael's Hill as it currently is. But there's no reason why we couldn't just uh, use that, you know, on a working into the station. As, you know, it fits within the time period just about um, as the 57s would have been introduced to Freightliner in the kind of late 90s. So it fits within the layout uh, time era. Um, and yeah, generally I'm very good with it. The one thing I'm not sure about is, is it, it just wobbles a little bit on the chassis. I don't know if that's normal um, or if that's something that I'm going to need to have a look into. Um, but uh, I'll certainly get get the body work off and, and have a look and see if that's something that is uh, something that needs to be fixed or if it's perfectly normal. I also have a Backman 47 that's brand new, so I'll uh, I'll check against that and see how uh, how that compares to that one. But generally, for 65 quid, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, with this as, as a bargain. So uh, join me in a second when I'll uh, get the uh, get the body shell off, get the uh, loco chipped and get it running on the layout. So there we go, the body shell's off. Um, as with a lot of models these days, you can't fully take it off without kind of uh, desoldering these wires, but it's not really a problem. The way it uh, is held on, that's fine. It became apparent that when I did remove it, uh, there was one of the screws was missing from uh, from under here, which isn't a massive deal, um, as it's six screws to hold it in. So uh, missing one isn't a massive problem, and I could probably pick one up as a spare without any problems at all. Um, I don't think that's why the body uh, or the, the whole thing was a little bit uh, movable. I think it's still a little bit, there we go, you see it moves a little bit. I don't know whether it's a case of just um, tightening up some of these screws or whether that's just how they are and I'm being a bit over, over picky. So. Um, yeah, I will uh, get a chip in here. Um, as you can see, it is the eight pin chip version, which uh, does confirm that it's one of the older um, 
tooling, so that's fine, it's what I expected. I still think I got a good price for this model. For, you know, 65 quid is uh, still very good for me. Um, so I will uh, grab a chip and, uh, and fit that in there, and uh, we'll get a running up on the layout, and I'll, I'll show you what she uh, handles like. It's kind of the, the last uh, test, I suppose, of a second-hand model, is how does she run. So it generally looks in, in decent nick. I've cleared some of the fluff out um, that was there, so hopefully, fingers crossed, um, once I get a chip in, she'll run okay, um, and I won't uh, be regretting spending that £65. So um, join me in a second, and I'll, uh, I'll have her chipped and ready to run. So as you can see, the uh, chip has been uh, fitted and uh, generally it uh, is a fairly good runner straight out of the box. So again, that was kind of one of my other big fears is that uh, picking up such a bargain, it wouldn't uh, run too well. But generally it seems to be pretty good. The lights uh, are working. Um, I'm not sure how well they are coming up on camera, but uh, you can see there that uh, both the forward and reverse lights work. Um, and generally the the running is fairly good. It's got a nice uh, slow speed crawl. And uh, yeah, very happy with that. So I think overall really, um, it's been a pretty good purchase. Um, very happy with the uh, with the condition of the loco. Um, like I said, it's, it needs a little bit of a clean up for sure, but uh, generally it's uh, it's in really good nick. And for sixty five quid, really, really couldn't complain. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll leave you with a few more running shots of her. But uh, needless to say, I'm very impressed. Um, it, incidentally. I did look into the uh, slightly wobbly uh, body. It is apparently something that uh, was common to a lot of the earlier 47s and 57s from Batman. So there are a few little uh, fixes, but it's certainly nothing that's uh, too alarming and nothing that uh, can't be uh, fixed with a little bit of uh, fettling away of some of the uh, some of the bodywork and all that sort of stuff so i will do that at some point but uh, for now i'll probably leave it it's not too noticeable um and w when she's moving she's not wobbling at all so yeah generally very happy so uh, i think that's it from me today on st michael's hill um until the next time um i will uh leave you with some running shots and i'll uh, i'll see you again next weekend thanks very much goodbye